Mr. Nee, it's a pleasure welcoming you in our last uh, edition and discussion about the Oduduwa Nation Movement in UK. We are, of course, Sunday Bowu and other dignitaries uh, from the Yoruba extraction was led to meet uh, the Prime Minister. You said that uh, Sunday Bowu has no capacity to lead an intelligent race as the Yorubas. Could it be the reasons why the petition was trashed by the UK government? That they have to go and do their homework and uh, show signs of, uh, of willingness and readiness to leave Nigeria. Well, thank you. Uh, you, you see, a person like Sunday Bo who cannot express himself uh, effectively uh, in English, which of course is a prerequisite in this course. While you are engaging international bodies, it is expected of you to understand fluently one official international language. So how on earth does Igbo understand what he's doing? Igbo is only being pushed by some set of people who are cowards, probably staying abroad, sending him to do the wrong things and sending the signal and by extension, disgracing the Yoruba race. I've always stand on that fact that why, so, uh, why um, Sunday Igbo is leading a course? that might be the intention of the Yoruba people, but Sonno Igbo is not fit for it. His head doesn't fit the cap. And I am not surprised because the English people will look at him. The last man that the England, English people knew that led the course was Aolo. So when they look at Igbo, they look at what was going on here. So what they did was that petition, they didn't even let it last for six hours. Immediately the guy saw it on his table, he said, what was this? He tore it, used it as a tissue paper and flushed it down the toilet. So for me, I think uh, that Yoruba agitators are jokers. And I think they're just being, I think they're being used by Tinubu. I think it's an allegation, but I think this is what's happening. That Tinubu is using them to distract the Yorubas because some Yorubas right now have lost patience. They've lost interest. They don't see Tinubu as, a, as one of them. They don't take Tinubu as a leader. They see Tinubu as an outcast. Some people say that Tinubu is from Guinea and he's actually believing, he's behaving like one. He doesn't behave like a Yoruba man. A Yoruba man is circumspect. They have wisdom. They have brilliance. They have intelligence. They have communication progress. Show me which one Tinubu has. Which one does he entail? Which one does he ensue? But you have been the governor of Lagos State for. Uh... And controlling Lagos State for barely 24 years from now. It is unfortunate that the Lagosians allowed this to happen. It is unfortunate that the Lagosians allowed such a man to steal away their land, their politics. Tinubu cannot go to Oyo State and try this nonsense. He can't try it in Ogu State. The Lagosians are just money oriented. They are just money oriented. This is why you see that Lagosians are selling their land anyhow. I'm a Yoruba man. If Lagos becomes exposed today, it is still my state, Ogu State, that will come and protect them. But you see the Lagosians tell you, eh, Lagos, but you see them tell you that eh, Lagos it will not be a part of the Western region. It is because the other surrounding states had protected them. The Lagosians are money oriented. This is why Tinubu has been able to capture them. That is the bane. You look at what is going on, you can see that so many culture, so many um, qualities, virtues of the Yoruba in Lagos State has been eroded because the, 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 the supposedly indigents of Lagos, who are Yorubas by the way, but in this instance, they have exchanged for monetary gains, short-term monetary gains. You can see that anytime Tinubu wants to win a lecture. You know what it does? It does us be bullion van. And that is the taxes he's using at the national level. Giving out spaghetti, giving out a discounted bag of rice. Just recently, because some people are what? Crying that hunger won't finish them. He has, he, he has instructed the finance minister to give out over 20,000 to 20 million people. Why is it always, what, is that what we are after? So Igboho and Co, allegedly, I think they have been used by this man to just distract 
the well-meaning Yorubas. Because let me tell you, there's no well-meaning Yoruba person that is educated that will see this man, Tinubu, and say that he's one of them. You know. No. Would it mean an end, of course, or, or this, uh, the hope of um, millions of Yorubas who are clamoring for Yoruba nation uh, buried? Is it a hope buried for them? Or could there be a way out of this embarrassment? I think for now, that idea is dead on arrival. The idea of having a Yoruba agitation is as failed. The British are signaling to the Yorubas that you guys are beneficiaries of the Nigerian system. And there's no taking away from that. There's no gainsaying in that. It's actually the fact. Why are you crying? In fact, a, a, a man, he's supposedly a Yoruba man, is right here in my country, which is the UK, and is equally your president. So what? why didn't you go to him in his home? I mean, the body language says it all. So nobody's taking them seriously. The Yorubas cannot come out and say they have been marginalized. On what basis are they saying they want to leave Nigeria? And the North today are extremely happy. You don't know, the North just yesterday, one of them said Nigeria will not split until Nigeria wait for North to catch up with the South, which includes the Southeast and the South South and the Southwest. But they are extremely happy that Yoruba agitation, that one, they don't chop up. So they are after the Biafran agitators. But I believe the Biafran agitators have moved. They have been on this for over 40 to 50 years. You don't compare Yoruba agitation started just less than five years. So on what basis? On what basis? The infrastructure, the structure, the, the I mean, the nitrogen, the intricacies, the correspondents, the representatives are not there. It's not, it's not, they, they are just a bunch of copycats. They are copying the Biafra agitation because the Yorubas ordinarily shouldn't be agitating. What they should be doing is holding their state governors accountable. Because when it comes to, I don't think, the, if the Igbos have had a president, I don't think they will also be clamoring for, to leave this country. You know, but because they have seen it that they are being cheated outrightly, intentionally, by the conspiracy between the two other major tribes, and they feel, let me tell you, when, if election won't come tomorrow night, because they are goes, find where it means or everything to bring the Yoruba on their side. Is that not the case? So, the Yoruba agitators are just jokers and they shouldn't be taken seriously. Thank you very much. Thank you once again, Mr. Sani. I hope, of course, uh, your critics will not come after you, but whatever be the case. <laughs> you know, I, I will always stand and say the truth. I am an objective person. And I'm a realist. I'm a pragmatic person. And I'll say, yes, I'm a Yoruba person, but that doesn't mean I will not say the truth. Me coming to your platform, so I'm a Yoruba person, saying otherwise simply means my education is wasted. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a tribalized guy. That doesn't mean I don't have it far as a Yoruba person, but I will not come and place my tribalism above common sense. Thank you for having me. Thank you once again. This is happening in Cobweb TV, where we, of course, have the Umbayan support site. Of events keeping the trail has been a commitment to this end we come your way kindly like share and subscribe for more political discourse thank you once again for watching